In this video, you will learn the basic foundation for producing trap music. Most trap songs use samples from the famous Roland TR-808 drum machine, or at least samples that sound similar. You'll also want to select a tempo of either 110 beats per minute, or 140, depending on the feel you want your song to have. Both work. For this tutorial, we'll set it to 110. Like most other EDM genres, the foundation is in the drum pattern. So start with a snare. You'll want to put the snare on every third beat. Next, we work with the kick. At a bare minimum, place the kick at the start of the pattern and stretch it to the first snare. It is not so important where you place the other kicks as long as they do not overlap your snares. For example, That kick placement was chosen randomly. Next, we work with the hi-hats. Once again, it is not too important where you place them, but a good starting point is to set your snap to one-fourth step and place a hi-hat every two steps. Like so. Here's what it sounds like. Already, that's decent. Many producers like to fill the last beat or two with really quick hitting hi-hat samples, like so. Another popular hi-hat pattern technique is to increase the note distance after each hi-hat, just before the last beat. You now know the foundation for producing a trap song or making a trap remix. If you would like your trap song or trap remix to sound very stereotypical, add a sample of someone yelling hey every other beat. Now this video is simply outlining the guidelines for producing trap music. Please break the rules. You do not have to use 808 samples. You do not have to use the air horn sample. You do not have to place the snare every third beat. And you do not have to use 110 beats per minute or 140 beats per minute. The foundation of trap is extremely simple, which leaves plenty of space for creativity. So be creative and fill that space with your own style.